I caught Rocky on TV the other day. It made me start thinking. Why does it always make us jump up off the couch and start swinging? Why does a football jersey look glazed when it's got some mud on it? Why is the Stanley Cup sweeter to raise when it's got a little blood on it? We could just walk, instead we parkour, that's hardcore. Why does my son pretend to fight Darth Vader when he's never even seen Star Wars? What forces us to make obstacle courses for ourselves, like we don't have enough obstacles in our courses? What's the source of running marathons when no one is chasing us? And who endorses rising before the sun when no one is making us? And I think about what's facing us. This whole life is a battle. We were born into a boxing ring, up against the ropes before we know our own names and fighting for our lives, our freedom, our honor, our reclamation. We all start at the bottom of Mount Everest, and to make it to the top we could never rest. This is our salvation. Every trial a manifestation of our faith incarnated. Every disappointment, every heartache, and every injustice, every sickness and sadness we partake in provides progress towards perfection, a divine destiny refined in this mayhem. We find ourselves undertaken, some hits, shaken, but still standing. We fight because we're fighters, it's what we're meant for. In our corner, the greatest trainer and mentor there ever was. We are Rocky. And with no Apollo or Clubber Lang or Drago, there's no redemption or eye of the tiger or burning heart, there's no training montage. With no adversity, there would be no triumph. And we would leave this existence the same way we came into it. What's the point of that? Couldn't even say we've been through it. So point me to the storm, watch me swim through it. Watch me find the kind of winning that only comes through endless losing. Only after putting in the work will I find rest. And blessed retribution, not only improving, but I will end proven.